And here is the Writer's Almanac for Friday, the 11th of February, 2022. It's the birthday of Joy Williams, born in Chelmsford, Massachusetts, in 1944. Went to college in the Midwest, decided she needed to live someplace more mysterious and exotic. Moved to a trailer park in northern Florida, surrounded by swamps and snakes. She said, I was miserable, of course, but it was all very good for my writing. It's good to be miserable and a little off balance. The result was her first novel, State of Grace. It's the birthday of the screenwriter Philip Dunn, born in New York City, 1908, one of the organizers of the Writers Guild of America, and wrote many movies, including How Green Was My Valley and The Robe. It's the birthday of Joseph L. Mankiewicz, born in Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania, 1909, who won an Oscar for All About Eve in 1950, in which he gave Betty Davis the line, Fasten your seatbelts, it's going to be a bumpy night. It's the birthday of the man who gave us the phonograph, the light bulb, the movie camera, Thomas Alva Edison, born in Milan, Ohio, 1847. It's the birthday of the man who said, the less conscious one is of being a writer, the better the writing. And though reading is the best school of writing, school is the worst place for reading. Writing should be as spontaneous and urgent as a letter to a lover or a message to a friend who has just lost a parent. And writing is, in the end, that oddest of anomalies, an intimate letter to a stranger. Pico Iyer, born in Oxford, England, to Indian parents, who after college took a trip with a friend from California through Central America to Bolivia. He later said, it's a great thing to take a journey like that when you're 17 or 18 because you're relatively reckless and you don't really know what the dangers are. And then once you've done it, anything seems possible. Went to graduate school at Harvard during the summers, got a job writing for a budget travel guidebook, traveled all around France and Italy and Greece, living on almost no money, sleeping in the gutters and under bridges, covering a different town each day, walking the streets, taking notes, writing it up in the evening. After he graduated, he got a job working for Time magazine. And when he was tired of being in offices, he took a vacation to Southeast Asia, fell in love with the place, decided to take a six-month leave of absence, traveled through 10 Southeast Asian countries in three months, and then spent three months writing the draft of his first book, Video Nights in Kathmandu. He since published several more books, including the novel Abandon a Romance. Here's a poem for today by Sarah Teasdale, entitled Barter. Life has loveliness to sell, all beautiful and splendid things, blue waves whitened on a cliff, soaring fire that sways and sings, and children's faces looking up, holding wonder like a cup. Life has loveliness to sell music like a curve of gold, scent of pine trees in the rain, eyes that love you, arms that hold. And for your spirit's still delight, holy thoughts that star the night. Spend all you have for loveliness, buy it, and never count the cost. For one white singing hour of peace, count many a year of strife well lost, and for a breath of ecstasy, give all you have been or could be. A poem by Sarah Teasdale, entitled Barter. That's the Writer's Almanac for Friday, February the 11th. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.